I found this great little vintage desk at the thrift store. Somebody, I think, had tried to refinish it at one time, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a makeover using Dixie Belle paint. And here I am applying the first coat of the chalk mineral paint. The color is called Merlot. It's a very pretty red. It's not too bright. It's subtle, but very, very pretty. And I needed two coats of the chalk mineral paint to cover the desk perfectly. Um, I did not have to first prime this piece. The finish was not slick. It didn't have um, any kind of finish that required slick stick or any kind of primer. I just put the paint directly onto the wood. The piece has a ton of detail um, and I just am applying paint over all the detail and you will see at the end of the video that I use gilding wax in the color bronze to highlight that detail nicely. A lot of times I replace the hardware on my old pieces, but in this case, the little wooden knobs are perfect and with a bit of paint, they set the piece off nicely. Now for the interior of the desk, I decided for the first time to go ahead and use my brand new paint sprayer. This is a small paint sprayer that I purchased from Home Depot, it's Wagner, and I really love it. It's perfect for these hard to reach um, spots in furniture such as the interiors of these old desks. I decided to add a little style to the interior of the desk. First, I'm applying the paint, and once that's dried, I'm going to go ahead and use decoupage paper to um, add to the interior. I'm going to put it on the front panel, the one that I'm spraying right now, and I'm also going to put it on the drawer fronts. It adds a really pretty little style element to the interior, and I'll show you how I do that next. After the paint has dried, I can then go ahead and use my decoupage paper. First, the paint has to dry completely, and then I will take my clear coat and add a coat of the clear coat onto the paint and apply the paper directly onto the clear coat to stick. And then you add another coat of clear coat on top of the tissue, and that creates a really solid, strong finish on the paper. To seal the piece, I use Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in clear, and I apply it with my brush, and then I go over it again with a very soft cloth and buff it in, and it gives it a beautiful finish. The bronze gilding wax is very easy to apply. I just dip my finger into the little jar and wipe it over the detail that I want highlighted. Here is the finished product. I think it's really pretty. And if you like this project and are interested in seeing more, please subscribe to my channel.